Oh boy. All right. Yeah, this sure is a start to a puzzle. So, uh, World Ends With You, Final Remix, came out the other day. It is, uh, very good. But, you know, it's The World Ends With You. Of course it was going to be very good. I have never played You've that. You've never played it at all? Nope. Oh, man, you need, you need to fix that. Yeah, I... I... I don't remember when it came out, but... It came out in 2008, I think? For the DS? I... I think I had my DS then. It took me a while to get a DS. Because I was in that point where I'm, like, still... I don't know. I didn't have one for a while. And, uh... It just wasn't... It didn't look like my kind of thing. Well, that's fair. I mean, so I just let it pass it's, me I by. mean, it is, to be fair, an absolute clusterfuck of a game. Yeah. But, uh, but that's part of why it's so good. I-M-O. I mean, I've played plenty clusterfucks of games at this point. But uh, yeah, if you've never I mean if you've never played it, the, the the DS original is probably still the best way to play it. Like, I'm just happy to see it again at all. But mm -hmm. the uh, the tut it is. But it the, to be clear though, it is a port of the iOS version, which is it does some things that I don't completely agree with, like mechanically. Because the original, like, it did some super fucked up control thing. So, like, on the top screen, you had your partner, who you controlled with the D-pad. And each of your partners had their own little gimmick about what, about how their, uh, their attacks worked. But the gist of it was basically you would press, like, you press left, you, your partner would attack to the left. They attack, press right, you'd attack to the right. And then, like, you could press, like, up to dodge and shit like that. So your partner would be yeah. doing all this stuff on the top screen. At the same time, you would use the stylus on the touch screen to control the main character and do all of your attacks there, which were all bound to different things like, like this is like one attack you would be to like, if you slash an enemy, Neku will run over and he'll do like a slashing combo. Or if you draw a line up on, on the ground, it'll make a large icicle that hits the enemy and stuff like this. And basically, you'd have to juggle both of these at the same time, because you share a health bar between the two characters. Uh-huh. And it's just, like I said, it is an absolute clusterfuck, and it takes... It takes a really long time to get even... Used even to. remotely good at. But once you do, though, it's... It is absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Uh, and then there's there's a there's also a bunch of like just kind of like cool mechanical things like there's a, like the armor system in that game is just it's just clothes it's just literally clothes but which armor you can equip is governed by a stat called bravery and like so obviously the main character Neku is a guy. So, like, you can get, like, dresses, for example, and Shiki can put on dresses immediately because, you know, you know, she's a girl, you know, blah, blah. Yeah, hetero... <laughs> Let me guess, he has to be hetero brave enough to, to But yeah, to like, if you jack on. your bravery, like, up to, like, absurd <laughs> levels, you can just have Neku wandering around in, like, a sundress and a bonnet. Don't worry about it. It's cool. He's brave. So... That's kind of funny. So it, it's, it gets a little silly in places like that, but, you know, it, it's just kind of cool that you can. Yeah.
And then there's also a whole bunch of shit about like brands. So like every attack, it, like every pin, which is which is what determines what your attacks are, and your clothing is all branded. And like if the brand that it belongs to is one of the most popular brands of any given area, you get a huge attack boost. And if it's not, you get this attack penalty. <laughs> and they said there is just layers upon layers of systems and. It's kind of. Wait, hang on, what? Oh, fuck, I was looking at the six. Never mind. But yeah, there's just. There's a whole bunch of complexities. And the main problem with the iOS port is that it does away with the partner system. So that. Like, because it's all on one screen. And it changes how that works and the touch controls aren't as precise as the stylus was and like it's still good but but it's not like it's not as good as it was i wouldn't even necessarily say that that it's not as good as it was the problem is that it is attempting to adapt a game that like fundamentally does not work in its original form without it's surprising it wasn't put on 3ds well, it did, sh it did nope. show up in the 3DS Kingdom Hearts. What? Yeah. Yeah, Dream Drop Distance, that was the first place they did a World Ends With You world. Oh, no, I, well, okay, but you know what I mean. Well, I mean, the, the, you know, the real like, reason like, is that it's because Tubi bombed. And yet, here we are on Switch. Well, to be fair... Nomura has said that this is the last time he's going to do anything with Twui. At least the original game, so. Mm. Although, fun fact to bring this discussion back around, uh, Twui was developed by Jupiter, and a, a cross between Jupiter and Square Enix. Uh, Jupiter, oh. as you might know, is the developer of these Picross games. After the uh, after Truly came out, they basically gutted them and took most of their good developers and brought them <clears> into the. Uh, <throat> they basically hired them onto the Kingdom Hearts team. Mm -hmm. What the hell is what? this? Oh shit! What? I didn't count. There's six things in this row. Okay, so those are twos. What? Okay, Why is that not? Let me mark. Oh, I'm, let me mark. I'm looking at the wrong one. Let me mark. That rose, That column's done. The column I'm highlighting one, is done. This one right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's one of the an anemone plants? Is that what that is? I don't recognize that one at all. I guess so. It's kind of hard to... It's not like in like a couple of the like the water levels, I guess. Not not the most iconic, as far as yeah, uh, you probably know. not a puzzle I would have picked, but you know, sure, whatever. Yeah, well. I wonder if my port gives the frosting fine. I took it out a while ago. I'm sure it is. Probably. Don't don't count this X for anything. That's two, four, and okay. that's nineteen, so one, two. Uh, this is actually going to be going right down there because of the way the numbers work out. Okay. My music stopped because YouTube's probably asking me, hey, are you still listening? And I was like, you know, because that lovely thing they like to do now. Can't believe you're ignoring YouTube Senpai. He just wants what's best for you, FP. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, what's best for me would be to keep listening to music. <laughs> but have you thought about what the algorithm thinks about that? Actually, it's best not to think about what the algorithm wants, because then you'd have a bunch of racist bullshit show up on your feed. Yeah. Basically a fancy way to be lazy. I like how like every story is like, oh, our our corporation's going to take over, you know, everything with the algorithm. Revolutionize right. our sector. Right. Will the uh will robots eventually overtake us, you know, with the, the powers of artificial intelligence and the algorithms? And then you look at what algorithms actually do these days, and it's like, nah, nah. Th there's no threat. <laughs> like, oh no, I'm being inconvenienced by a mildly racist... ...robot. Microsoft bot. Gosh, what? <sighs> that what was that bot's name? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, re I remember the headline. Uh, learn AI learning, man. AI learning. There's something to be said about it. There's a lot of things to be said Definitely. about it. The, uh, <laughs> the biggest thing that can be said uh, about AI learning is that uh, there is no such thing as neutral AI learning because somebody had to start that AI. Somebody had yeah. to write that code. right there okay well we're good can't believe you guessed again on accident we'll go with uh, a mistake that worked out can't believe I'm gonna have to disown you now this up you don't own me at all this is the tomb this has to be part of mine so at the very least one, two. This could be the this okay. Let's say this is the end of the nine. So at the very least, these would be filled, and it could go out to there. Probably something down. Did you try this one? And is this all you got no, out of it? No, I have not tried that one. one. Okay, let me. Uh... One, two, three. One, two. Five. One, two. Okay, so this is the two. One, two, three. Not oh, perfect, because that's the end of that. No, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, two, three. Okay. No idea what it is yet. Yeah, this one doesn't look like a whole lot of anything yet. Maybe it's. Maybe it's a castle that, like, this could be a turret. Maybe this is Bowser's castle. 
You can see like a like a turret on the castle tower or something I like that. Yes. We'll see. It's it's pretty early to 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 guess what it would be now. Okay, that's one. So it's one it could fit the four there. That's so. six. Well, this is the eight right in here. So finish out the six there. And that's the one that finishes over there. Is it the eight? The uh, eight's full there. The eight can only fit in here. This is actually uh, this is here. This is the one down here. That's the four. No, I, the two could go there. I feel like I'm playing number wang. You're playing what? Oh, uh, you ever heard of a of a? old show called, um, that's not that old, but the That Mitchell and Webb look. It was a kind of like a British comedy. I cannot say that I have. Well, one of the things they had in there, it was a recurring <laughs> recurring kind of segment that they would do was this, like, this fake game show called Number Wang, and it basically just, it kind of had, like, no rules. They just had, a, like, the contestants would just say, uh, numbers, out loud, and that was about it. Um, it was, I guess, it was just like making fun of ridiculous game shows. But so they would just, you know, call numbers out, and eventually the host would be like, yep, that's it, that's number wang or whatever, and they're trying to get the number wang. I don't know. It was a pretty funny series. A bunch of just different variety of, of jokes. But that's what I feel like right now, as we just sit here and say numbers. But where is the host coming to give me my great prize? He's got to fly in from Britain. Shit. <laughs> you're going to miss him. Because <laughs> you're going to fly away. Number four can't go here. Two, six. Put two threes in here. Yes. And all the rest of this is done. One, two, three. I really know for sure that it's two ones there. Well, this has three to be the three, three here, so we can drop all that. Up. Man, this isn't the competitive one. Get out of my way. It's always competitive. <laughs> Didn't you see? Picross is an eSport now. <laughs> it's so competitive, I'm gonna tank this other board because I wasn't doing well enough. The five mistakes was on purpose. To prevent me from getting the high score I can't yeah, that sounds about I can't right. allow you to get MVP of this round FP <laughs> uh, oh this one's all done you say if you do I'll never get signed to a pro team <laughs> eSport pick cross. Uh... 
that one? Yes. That's a. Oh, it's a. Uh, a it's a blarg. A blarg. <laughs> he looks really crazy in this one, because they looked really goofy in the in Yoshi's story. Yeah, didn't they have like this like? How did they? Well, they were huge. First yeah, off. well, I mean, yeah, they were well, they were huge in Yoshi's Island uh, too. Yeah, 